So my uh, camera is displaying some weird behavior. This is actually prior to um, the AC problems. So right now it's dead. All the lights are dead. I cannot start it. So if I like try to press press it. actually dead so this is an indicator that the uh, yeah look at that it's it's blinking actually previously there was like some lights all the lights show up it's like a Christmas tree so my 12 volt battery is dying and it's actually the original one it's been doing this for a while so I have no choice but to actually replace it yep so in order to make it start, uh, what I'm going to do is, yep, there it goes. It tries to start. Yep, takes a while. Then it, yep. Yep, when things happen. Yep, you could hear this one like rattling. Okay, we'll fix this temporarily. Well, the battery is... Uh, it's only like 11.3 uh, volts. And then I have it uh, charged here. Um, I thought it's an AGM. Which is weird. So this is not an AGM. It says it's a 12 volt standard. Huh. It does look like the battery is toast in this. <clears throat> I've been charging it for 24 hours now and it's still not turning green. So probably just swap this uh, sensor, temperature sensor into this one. This is the spare battery that I have. Um, it's been with me for a while and it has vent holes in here yeah. this is like the problem is the terminals are also like the other way around so it's over here instead of over here I think it should be okay I'll just transfer this sensor over here I think I could just take this off, maybe. This is like a clip on it. Yep, and then I uh, could just insert it here. And it should be good. So, it will be positioned like this. Okay, now the, uh, the hose is actually pretty big for the hole in here, for the vent hole. So this won't work. I need to find a, a small one to fit in here. Yep, I need to find an adapter for that. But for now, what I'm going to do is try to see if this will fit. negative first yep it's like the we got space in here and then uh, okay looks like the wires are long enough for me to tighten and loosen it so the only drawback is every time I I'm going to like loosen this one out I need to take out this bracket which is not bad at all. The battery is actually uh, quite a little bit big to the tray. So it's slanted. 
Um, yeah. Probably the best thing to do is probably remove the tray on this one. But so far it's I want to figure out if your uh, battery is uh, no good. So the Camry has a diagnostic uh, check actually. So what you do is uh, you turn this one. Uh, not you, you just turn it on. To Israel. But uh, and to all those who. You turn it on, but not uh, um, do not press the brake. Just uh, this uh, umber color. And then you press, you hold the info button. And then at the same time, you press the headlight on and off three times. Uh, and then the display would show up there. Um, let me do that. There you go. So once you have that, you go to menu, then you go to the display check, then you go to the vehicle signal check, and then you'll see that my replacement battery is 11.6 volts. It's draining fast, which is not very good. So the uh, the standard battery is actually like draining fast on this car um, it's possible that if I turn it on tomorrow it might not start yeah this one is 11.5 11.8 it varies somehow so let me see if uh, turning it on if I could still turn it on with 11.8 volts so we're gonna press on the brake. It's now green. And then battery shoots off to 13.4 volts. So I think my battery still has juice. Yep. Okay, now if I turn this off, it, the screen will also turn off, which is like a bummer. I have to do it again in order to check the battery. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, the standard battery drains fast, so it's possible that you could get stranded with it. Um, I'll probably buy uh, an EGM battery, but the one from Costco, the, uh, I think it's the 24F or the 26F, um, there's some fitment issues and then at the same time the vent hole is way too small so yep I'll check it out again tomorrow see if I could still start this car we'll see if uh, my standard battery will work it was like uh, down with the voltage yesterday, so uh, press this on. Oh, so it's still working. Try the diagnose again. I'm gonna press the info button at the same time. Twist the headlamp switch on and off three times. So press that. back and uh, you know it's 
Okay, I'm gonna try it again. So, press that one. So, uh, info. One, two, three. Let me know again. Display check. Vehicle signal check. So, okay, my battery is actually doing well. 12.1 volts. Huh. Okay, I'll just probably keep it that way for a while and see how it goes. But yeah, it's going down to 11.9. Interesting. So, we'll see if this turns on. 13 volts up when it's on. Ready mode. I replaced my uh, my standard uh, 12 volt battery with um, AGM. So this is from Walmart. It's around 169 dollars, and um, this one fits perfectly because it's a uh, it's a 10 inch um, in length and then 8 inch in height. So it fits perfectly without the. Uh, um, without any issues putting it in so I have to like uh, put this uh, negative terminal facing this way and then that one facing that way um, I cannot put it sideways because it's near that metal bracket so yep yeah you don't need to buy a uh, Panasonic one from Toyota which is around 450 to 500 dollars and this one I just uh, Put, a, put the uh, um, temperature sensor with the tape and then there's the uh, so I replaced the uh, the OEM vent uh, uh, vent valve or vent pipe because this is really big this one goes to the battery side it's actually really big um, I think this one fits in so what I did is uh, I have some uh, hoses from the washer fluid just a T there so what I did is I just heated one side of it close it clump it and then just use the remaining two this one is broken because this is the this is the one that I used before and then when I tried to use this handle it actually broke this one when I move it around so be careful when you do this stuff like moving it around because you could hit this one so better to take out the vent the vent hose first when you try to service this battery yep. or you could go to the parts store and find some uh, some vacuum adapters yeah they sell this one really cheap yeah it's like probably like a buck or five dollars for a kit so yep this has been doing well for several days now um, I'm concerned about the standard one is that um, because of the proximity sensor with these cars so the car is always like on so it could actually drain that one so the AGM one is actually like a, it has a what they call it a deep cycle battery so it doesn't like discharge so much so yep uh, and then I have to put in the power to find the nicest thing.